China is in the middle of its worst drought ever recorded. As rivers dry up and forest fires ignite across the country, they're playing God with the weather. Welcome to Technality, I'm Alex Melke, and today we're looking at how China is creating rain with missiles. Before we get started, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you never miss an episode of Technality. As of the posting of this video, China is experiencing the worst heat wave ever in recorded history. The temperature in the past few days hasn't dropped below 95 Fahrenheit, 35 Celsius. And so far, 66 rivers have dried up completely across the country. China is experiencing the worst case scenario that scientists have been warning us about for decades. To many Chinese, doomsday has arrived. But as China rations power in the face of scorched earth climate, ripple effects will soon disrupt global supply chains. The current food crisis is one bad day away from disaster. Facing impossible odds, the Chinese government is turning to technology to save them. China is waging war on the weather, literally firing missiles at the sky to make it rain. It sounds like science fiction, but this process called cloud seeding has been around since the late 1940s. It involves strapping a flare full of a chemical called silver iodide to the back of a rocket and blasting it at a cloud. Clouds are packed full of water droplets that are cool but not cold enough to turn into rain. Silver iodide particles create a form of ice crystal, bonding to the water droplets, getting just heavy enough to become precipitation. Just one gram of silver iodide is enough to create 10 trillion artificial ice crystals. With one missile, China has the power to transform a sleeping cloud into a thunderous storm. This is the longest waterway in Asia, the Yangtze River, bone dry in some parts. But with weather modification on the table, China is hoping to outlast the historic heat wave that's crushing the entire country. A few years ago, China was creating 55 trillion tons of artificial rain annually. In the face of increasingly devastating droughts, that number is expected to quadruple. But a technology that mimics the power of the gods isn't without consequence. As cloud seeding increasingly becomes the answer to extreme droughts, we enter a new era of human rivalry. The Middle East and North Africa are racing to squeeze every last drop out of the clouds in the sky. But there's one problem. Cloud seeding isn't some magical weapon, it's science. It doesn't create clouds out of nothing, it kickstarts the rain process within one. And with only so many clouds in the sky, Iran, on the other side of the Persian Gulf, has essentially accused countries such as the UAE of stealing their rainwater. And then there's the wild unpredictability of cloud seeding technology itself. The cloud might not have enough water droplets, or if it does make rain, it could evaporate before it hits the ground. It could rain too much. A gust of wind can blow the cloud in a different direction. It's not a perfect science, yet. Firing missiles into the sky to manipulate the weather is another tool China has in its arsenal to battle the ravaging effects of climate change today. As rivers dry up and crops burn, 1.4 billion people hang in the balance. Water is quickly becoming the most valuable resource on Earth. How long before every country is chasing clouds for a glass of water? Think about it, and I'll see you in the future.